Hey everybody, I'm going to do a video today about Meiji nail art pens. Woo! Okay. So when it comes to nail art pens, Meiji nail art pens are probably some of the best that you could possibly get. And I say that having tested other ones by like L'Oreal or Sally Hansen, these ones you actually get really fine tips like pens you also get nail art brushes meaning you can paint your nails with them as well and they're cool because you can switch them up you can they kind of have like hookups by um by mark the the Avon thing or whatever and each kit contains eight colors with its own brush and art pen, four twist and joint rings, uh, one design instruction booklet, and one cleaning pen. This one here is the gold kit. This one doo -doo -doo, comes with um, green, orange, white, navy, violet, gold, purple, and aqua. This kit comes with pearl, pastel peach, pastel yellow, hot pink, baby blue, pastel green, pastel pink, and pastel purple. I think I put them in the wrong boxes. So, other way around. Um, you can go to www.mijinailart.com M-I-G-I-N-A-I-L-A-R-T dot com and that's where you can order these. <laughs> um, it also, okay, something I need to say about these is that you can only get them pretty much online. Um, there's not many places that sell them in stores. And they come in a box. You open up the box. Inside you will find a registration and verification card, okay? I haven't done mine yet, but I'm planning to do it. It says you're going to receive free refills and free replenishment. Um, so send this card back. And so it's registering your, your product and things. And you send it to them. Okay? So if you have gotten Meiji Nail Art, make sure you do that. It comes with a booklet, ideas, and instructions. And whoa. Inside you can like practice what you're doing like I did. Okay. And you also have design tips and ideas, which is nice. Talks about the, them a little bit. Um, kind of shows how to do it. In here you also get um, the pin, that's a cleaning pin up here. It's really small and thin. I'm going to tie a string on mine so I don't lose it. Um, but they're pretty neat. Now, I did Frankenstein nails, okay, for Halloween. And I only used the Miji nail art brush on the white for the eyes. The rest was ever. Oh, and the green. The green actually was the Miji nail art. I use this green. And <clears throat> this kit, I got two. It's the, the I think it's like the, the pastel and the gold kit. And it was pretty decent price. It was like $25 for both. And then, and in that you get 16 of them. The only thing that's a downfall is that I don't have just a black and a white. I have two different whites, a pearl white and like a pastel white. So I do have some white kind of colors, but they're not like awesome white, okay? And then there's no black. I have like a purple, blue, things like that. The awesome thing about these is that there's a cap and there's the pen. Look how thin the tip of that pen is. Like Oh my god, it is so thin. Tiniest little, thinnest little, little thing ever. It's so thin. 
it's like more thin than a typical pen. <laughs> and what you do is you shake them. Shake, 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 shake. And then you take whatever you want to write on, your nail, a paper, whatever, a nail art design book that comes included. <laughs> and you want to, when you squeeze it, the product starts coming out. You can see that. Squeezing it, and the product's coming out. Whoa. And if you want to write things, words, I mean, you can get it pretty thin. And I always recommend after you use it, you want to like clean the tip off, okay? That way it doesn't get clogged. It's so thin, it's fabulous. Um, what else can I tell you? It's just like writing. It's just like writing. I love it. Oh, yes. I find that the, um, the caps don't stay on very well. There we go. You have to really push them on. They come apart. So that's just a regular one. So if you want to use it as nail polish, if you want to just put it down and use it as nail polish, you can. You twist it. Get it again. Or look, and there's a brush. So you can use it as nail polish. Or you can pull the cap off and use it as a pen. You can stop squirting out. What else can you do? You can mix and match the colors. So like say you know you want to do a design with um, white and like indigo. Put the white on it instead. And you can just switch them. This is the little connector piece here, so you just twist them on. You can individualize what you want to do. And yeah, it's a pen. You just squeeze it. They're pretty easy to even use with your not dominant hand, which is nice. And see, I just drew a heart right there. So, so freaking easy really nice not hard to do so the pastel set comes with these colors here it's kind of like pastel -y pink coral yellow white pastel purple green blue orange pastel like orangey color and then the other one has white this is more like kind of um high shine blue purple indigo deep blue light blue yellow that's a nice copper color for fall so I kind of wish there was a set that was just like primary colors red orange yellow green blue purple brown black white gray um, but I have to look online and see if they have it so that is my review slash awesome product <laughs> information about Miji nail art and that's how you spell it in case you're wondering and that's how I created this design here if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me and let me know. And I will share more tips, techniques, and ideas and products with you soon. See ya!